All right, so I'm going to show you something that I just kind of stumbled across, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. I don't really know the application for it just yet, but I'm sure there is something. Uh, if nothing else, the novelty is pretty awesome. So uh, Armin had been talking to me about trying to get away within Blue Sky Plan to be able to uh, analyze the airway. And so I was playing with that, and you know, the first thing I tried to do was just do the segmentation. But segmentation is meant to select objects of a particular density and higher, whereas when we're trying to analyze an airway, we're trying to select uh, objects of a certain density and lower. Basically, like if you look at this window, all of this black is what we want. So I went through with that, and I was able to segment the maxillary sinus. It's not super uh, ideal, but it's pretty close. I mean, it would make for a, a neat study model, but still not exactly what we're after. So from there, I started trying to play with um, another option. So let me turn that model off and this one off. And let's turn back on this original uh, rendering. So you know when you've got your 3D rendering, you've got the ability to use the uh, slider down here to adjust the density uh, up and down to different things, depending on what you're wanting to see. Now, something else that we have is this uh, little check mark that we can click on the hint. And if we turn on the hint, that is going to um, show us basically the STL outline. So you see the, the face is showing up here, and you can see the face outline here and here. And so what I would like to do is adjust this to the point where uh, basically all the air uh, is pretty much showing. So this is what I'm after. And you can see right here how the sinuses are very well uh, detailed here, the space in the mouth. Uh, if we look in the, the pharynx, we can see all of that space. So I think this is probably about ideal. Uh, might go just a little bit more. Uh, I think that's about as good as we'll get it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just push Create Model. Okay, so check this out. We've got an STL file now of this patient's face, uh, but more important than that, what I was after, if I turn off that, is we can now turn off the, the hint on the CT scan, and let's turn on the, um, the STL outlines. So you can look, and within the skull here, all of these airways are perfectly outlined in this yellow line. Now I'm gonna export this, uh, because right now this model doesn't do us a whole lot of good. So I'm going to export data. I'm going to deselect everything except for that last little model that I created. Airway. Alright, so I'm going to get out of this case now. Discard that. And let's open up this STL called Airway. And here you can see it. Again, it's just purely an STL surface. Now, what I would love to do is click on this outer shell here and get rid of it all. But if I do that, uh, if I just select that surface, because it's all connected, uh, it highlights everything inside and out. And the reason is because it's all uh, you know, connected by these places on the top. So let me clear that. And what I need to do is first make a few cuts just to detach this. So we're going to do a little surgery on this patient's uh, head. And... Actually, let me redo that. Select. I'm going to do a single click here and just more or less use this like a, a plain cut and then circle it back. And you'll see that it selects the very top of the head right there. So I'm going to push delete. All right, we got that. We need to do that now with the back. So I will select. And delete. All right, now can you see where we're going? We're starting to come together here. I'm going to select. Get rid of the bottom. All right, so now this outer shell is only connected to um, this, uh, the, the nasal passages, the mouth, the pharynx, and all that. Uh, by the teeth right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just outline the lips. And so I'll shrink this down a bit and let's just go right here. Maybe a little bit bigger. And 
And now if I delete that, uh, now this, there should be two independent shells here. And we'll know if, if I can click this and it selects it all, but it does not select the inside, which you see there. Uh, and also, I'm gonna, I don't want to select this yet, so I'm going to push... Um, where is that connecting? Ah, it's got to be somewhere in the nose. Okay, so let's do the same thing with the nose real quick. Uh, select, I'm going to make the brush size bigger, and I'm going to outline the nose. And delete. And there we go. So now I've cut away all of that, and I can just push delete. And basically what I want to preserve is the mouth. Uh, you can see there that the... Uh, throat has closed up, separating the air in the mouth from the air in the throat, and then obviously all these uh, nasal passages. So I've selected them. If I want to delete everything else, I could say invert, and that would deselect it and select all the opposite surfaces. And so now I have this to work with, and this is essentially an inverted STL of the airway. How can we switch that? Uh, if I select again all of these surfaces, I can come up here to uh, edit and flip normals. And now this STL has been turned uh, right side out. Okay, so I've got these little ragged edges up here that are going to be tough to close. And then also this opening of the mouth, which is really just teeth and everything. That's not truly airspace. So I'm going to use the plane cut tool. And I'm going to just cut straight down through here. And push delete. And that closes that up. And so now I've got a pretty clean surface to work with. Let's see if we can now um, close this up. I, I do see this also one little bit of trash right here. And so I want to cut that out. All right, so let's come up here to Analysis, Inspector, and it's telling me I have a, a, a mesh that's broken, obviously, because it's got all these holes in it. And so hopefully it's going to auto-repair them all and not die. Sweet. So there we go. Now we have um, the airways segmented out as an STL. And so... Uh, again, I'm not exactly sure the use for this just yet, but I'm sure we'll find something. Uh, and it's a pretty cool uh, thing to be able to do just for the heck of it anyway. Uh, so hope you found that interesting.